Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Being Engineer. This is the part 6 of the chapter Moment of Inertia. In this video, we are going to find the moment of inertia of simple geometrical figure that is rectangle. We are going to discuss two cases. In first case, we have the reference axis attached to the figure or adjacent to the figure. Whereas in case number 2, we have reference axis at a few distance apart from the rectangle. So by using parallel axis theorem which I have discussed in the previous parts, please watch that parts too to get better understanding of the topic moment of inertia and the calculation of moment of inertia of different figures. So let's start our today's topic. We will discuss case number 1 in which the reference axes are given adjacent to the figure, rectangular figure. The dimensions of the figure are 8 cm that is the base is 8 cm and the depth is 4 cm. First of all look at the centroid that is bisecting the angle and bisecting this angle the intersection point of these two points will be the centroid of this figure. Now centroidal distance from x axis which is called as k will be equal to that is this point is the middle of the rectangle and dividing this distance by 2 we will get this height that is k. k is equal to 4 divided by 2 that is 2 centimeters. Similarly centroidal distance from y axis is shown by distance r. That is, total distance is 8 cm and dividing it by 2, we will get this distance that is centroidal distance from y axis. It comes out to be 4 cm. This is the step by step process. Please don't miss any step and don't let go of your eyesight from the slides. Now, area of a rectangle that is A is equal to D multiplied by D. This is the area of triangle and we will get <coughs> and we will get 8 multiplied by 4 which is the area of this triangle that is 32 cm square now we have found three values that is the value of k that is 2 cm the value of r that is 4 cm and the area of the figure that is 32 cm square the next step is using the formula of parallel axis theorem Ixx that is moment about x axis that is moment about x axis is equal to Igx that is moment of centroidal axis about x axis. Okay, in my previous video I have discussion about what is Igx and what is Igy. So Igx or rectangular shape is equal to BD cube divided by 12 by putting the values of BD that is 8 multiplied by 4 cube divided by 12 and the values of that is A area of the figure which we found in the previous slide that was 32 multiplied by the value of K that is 2 square we will get Ixx that is 170.67 centimeter power 4 its unit is the unit of moment of inertia is centimeter power 4 which I have discussed in the part 1 of this video. So, moment of inertia about x axis is as 170.67 cm power 4. Now, we are going to find the moment of inertia about y axis for this case number 1. That is IGY plus AR square. That is IGY along that is moment of inertia about centroidal axis about y axis is given is equal to dBQ for Igx it was BD cube. Now for Igy it is DB cube divided by 12 plus AR square putting the values of D and B. Similarly the value of area and R we will get moment of inertia about y axis. That is moment of inertia about y axis for this case number 1. Now let's proceed to the case number 2 in which axes were drawn at a few distance apart from the 
rectangle. Now the dimensions of the figure are as shown. The similar dimensions are given here, but the distance from figure from reference axis is 2 cm and the height of this figure from reference axis is also 2 cm. Now what to do with these distances? I am going to tell you what are these these for. Now look at the centroid that is center of the figure. Similarly, step by step process centroidal distance from x axis is equal to that is distance of k from x axis distance of centroid from x axis which is represented by k it will be equal to 2 plus 4 divided by 2 now this 2 is the distance of reference axis from the figure similarly by dividing 4 divided by 2 we will get the centroid of the figure so the value of k will be equal to 2 plus 4 divided by 2 which will comes out to be 4 centimeter similarly centroidal distance from y axis that is the distance r the distance r will be equal to 2 plus 8 divided by 2 now this is the 2 plus the base r length of the rectangle is 8 centimeter and dividing it by 2 we will get the center of this figure and by adding these two we will get the value of r r is equal to 2 plus 8 divided by 2 is equal to 6 centimeters area of a rectangle is similar that is 8 multiplied by 4 which comes out to be 32 centimeter square now remember these values the value of k the value of r and the value of area a now by using parallel axis theorem we will calculate Ixx that is moment of inertia about x axis which is equal to Igx Igx the value of a rectangle is fixed that is bd cube divided by 12 plus ak square this is the formula of parallel axis theorem which is used to determine the moment of inertia of two dimensional figures putting the values Ixx is equal to 8 multiplied by 4 cube divided by 12 and the value of a is that is area of a rectangle 32 multiply the value of k square we get the moment of inertia about x axis which comes out to be 554.67 now you have find the difference what makes the difference if we take the axis adjacent to the figure and what it takes if we take the reference axis apart from the figure Similarly, we will calculate IYY that is IGY plus AK square. Similar formula will be used uh, DB cube divided by 12 and putting the values, we will calculate the moment of inertia about Y axis for this case number 2. So that's all for today. I hope you have understand how to find the moment of inertia of any rectangular section from case number 2 and case number one that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get video updates